Cha, hey, beautiful family, welcome to another video. So today I wanted to speak about confidence, how to be a confident human. Advice from a four foot six guy, you know it. <laughs> what is confidence? What does it look like? What does it feel like? How do I become confident? We all have a certain vision, a certain belief of what confidence is. And confidence looks different for all of us. But I wanted to share this video and share my experiences of my um, journey from being a really, really socially anxious, insecure, shy person to now being a much more open and confident and connected person. And the journey to unlocking your confidence looks different for everyone. There is no one set way to be confident. I believe confidence is just your true expression. We have all tapped into our true self-expression at some point in our life. Whether that be literally like the beginning stages of our life, or maybe it was our childhood years, our teenage years, or maybe it's with somebody or somewhere. But we all have that spark of true self-expression which has been felt and expressed before. True confidence does not need a Louis Vuitton bum bag. True confidence does not need a Gucci hat. True confidence does not need $5 million in the bank. Does not need the hottest girlfriend. True confidence is your self-expression in its rawest, truest form. That's all confidence is. And when you can bring that true raw self-expression to the table, to other people, to your interactions, to yourself, is when you are free. We think, especially as men, that we want to be more confident, to be more approved, more validated, to have better relationships, to be more loved. How does this true confident person that you are moving towards being, how do they act? How do they speak? How do they relate to the world? What are they doing right now? And you find if you allow yourself to tune into that version of yourself, you will receive answers you will receive a new state, a new experience within yourself of confidence, of expressing yourself. It's safe to be confident. It's safe to say the things that maybe not everyone says. It's safe to do the things that maybe not everybody else does because that is your code of uniqueness. Those things that nobody else would do or say is your code of uniqueness. And if you can allow yourself to do those things, if you can allow yourself to voice those things that you want to say and do those things that you want to say, your confidence is naturally going to be unleashed. It's going to be unleashed. And I will share with you the most unstoppable force that allows one to be as confident as they can be is to be able to love yourself. To be able to love the parts of you that don't want to be confident. The parts of you that struggle to be confident. Loving the confident parts of you. Loving all of you allows you to bring your full self to the table. When you're bringing your full self to the table, that is confidence. Confidence doesn't always have to be this open, expressive, incredible person. Confidence can be that shy person. Truly, but if you're honest within that and you're honest within yourself, like, hey, like I am feeling socially anxious, I am feeling closed off, that is confident. To be so raw and honest within that is confident. And when you can allow yourself to be anxious, you can allow yourself to be closed off, to be the shy one, allowing and accepting yourself in that space, you can allow your most honest self to come through. And that is confident, in my opinion. And I feel like when we do allow and accept ourselves is when we do begin to come out of our shell, when we do begin to express ourselves more. But sometimes our true expression is not speaking. It's being anxious. And you can express that with people that you're around. You can express like, hey, I want to be so honest right now. I'm feeling anxious. I'm feeling closed off. That's all it is. Being confident is just being you in every moment. Whether it's absolutely ecstatic, 
whether it's so anxious, whether it's absolutely blissful and peaceful, or whether it's sad and closed off. All is welcome, all is true and confident if that's how you're feeling in that moment. And I feel like from my own journey, like confidence was something that I brought in to almost just try bring a new persona to the table, to be someone who I'm actually not, when I actually was someone who was socially anxious and I didn't allow myself to be that. And I realized that that is the most powerful thing, when I allow myself to be that socially anxious person. And I recognize how free I became. It's okay to not be the idealized, confident self that society displays this confident self to be. The talkative one, the rich one, the one who gets all the girls, the one who has all the fame. At the depth of each human being, all we desire is the absolute raw truth of ourself and of others. That is the sexiest thing, truly. Showing up as your absolute raw self. And not everyone is going to accept that. Not everyone is going to love that. And that's the beautiful thing because you being yourself in all states, in all places, allows and is becomes a filter for those who truly see you as you are to love you. And allowing those who only want to see your light. And don't want to see your darkness to fall away because those aren't the ones who are going to serve you in the long run. Let go of this idealized, confident person that we are supposed to be. Just letting that go. Letting that go. That you already are the most confident, truest self as you are. And that is the most beautiful part. Allowing all versions of you. Allowing all all versions of you to be expressed. That is your confident self. That is your true self. And it is the most beautiful thing. So I wanted to share this video on confidence, a little bit of a different angle, but I hope it resonates. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. And if it does, ciao, hey! Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, and I will catch you beautiful people on the next video. Ciao. Hey. <laughs>